What's up guys? In this video I'm going to show you a awesome little application that some people have asked me about and it's used to control your Android device. You can use it both with the cable and over Wi-Fi. It's pretty useful. I use it all the time and you can see the quality on it is amazing so if you're using it to record videos or just to use your phone while you're in class or something extremely useful so let's take a look at how to do this we're gonna need a few things so one of the first things you wanna do is go into your settings and then you wanna go all the way down into about basically we have to enable developer options so you go into about and then you want to go down look for build number and on build number you want to keep clicking until it gives you a message that developer mode has been enabled you can see mine's already enabled so it gives me that message and then once you have developer mode enabled all you have to do is hit developer options and do USB debugging so you want to enable that and then once you connect your phone to any computer it's going to show you a pop-up saying allow this device to use debugging and you want to allow it and preferably you want to allow it forever so you don't have to keep hitting allow every time which is what I have already done so once you've already done that we need to download the application so here we go the application is called screen copy you can download it from github and you just want to go code download zip extract it to your desktop or whatever location you'd like and one other thing we're gonna need which you might already have is the SDK platform tools I already have it basically you can go down and hit download for Windows or whatever operating system you have and you wanna install it and you wanna make sure that you can access it from a command prompt all right so with that out of the way let's take a look at how to use this app all right so let me close this open up a command prompt there we go you want to navigate into the directory where you extracted the files so for me i extracted it to my desktop so you can see the directory i'm in here is my desktop directory and if we go ahead and do a directory command it shows you all the files and this is the one we want to execute right here screen copy.exe so let's run it and there you have it once you run it it already pulls up your phone and from here you can go ahead and control your device and do pretty much anything you like now you're probably wondering how do I do this over Wi-Fi so let's take a look at how to do it over Wi-Fi so here we have the commands to run it over Wi-Fi we do have to do some previous configuration which could be done at any moment during your day so if you want to use it in class you might want to do this before you get in class so you don't have to pull off your computer and get this going but basically let's run these commands here so first we're gonna do adb tcp ip 5555 all right and now you need to know the ip address of your device which you can find out in settings about network and that should list you your IP address so mine is dot fifty dot one ninety all right yeah five 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 oops I forgot the connect parameter here like that all right once you typed in that command you can go ahead and unplug your device and the final step is to run screen copy as usual but note that they also tell you here a few different options so basically they say that the default is 8 megabytes which is pretty heavy so you might want to reduce it to 2 megabytes I'm gonna run it like this 
So once again, make sure you're in the right folder. You can see here I'm in the right directory already. Now let's do screen copy B2M. And there we go. We're running it over Wi Fi. No cables. You can control your phone. Again, really high quality for the videos or to watch a movie. You can use the cable and mirror the device to a TV. Pretty much gives you a bunch of options. I use this all the time. And one last thing I wanted to show you guys is this page over here. And I'll have all these things linked below so you can find it easy. But this gives you all the shortcuts to use this app. So if you want to do the home button, you can do the middle click on the mouse. Or if you want to do back, you can just do a right click and so on. All right. So that's it. Short video for today. Hopefully there will be a heavy hitter video coming on later this week. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you next time.